Hi everyone, Julia here. Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Shopify discount codes and I'll also go a bit into the different tactics you should have in mind when setting up your discounted offers. So this is a beginner's tutorial. If you've never done anything like this before, I'm going to take you step by step through the process. And if you have any questions along the way, please let me know down in the comments. All right, so let's get into it. From your Shopify dashboard, go to the discount section right here on the left and click create discount. Now you'll get a couple of different options here. First is amount of products, meaning the discount would apply just to a particular item or product. Then we have amount of order, which would apply to the total sum of your customer during checkout. We've also got buy X, get Y, which works really well for things like buy one, get one free or buy one item and get a discount on another item. And we've also got the free shipping discount. Today, I'm going to be using the amount of order as an example. So go ahead and click that. Then here on method, you'll want to choose discount code. And this should already be automatically selected right here. And then just type here whatever code you want people to use during checkout to apply the discount. You can come up with whatever words or numbers you want. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be creating a first order discount as an example. So I will use welcome 10 as an example, just like that. And if you're not feeling so creative, you can also press this button right here, generate and Shopify will come up with a random code for you. It will look something like this. For now, we'll go back to welcome 10. And then you'll want to set the value of your discount. So this means how much you are reducing from the original price. And it could either be a percentage or a fixed amount. So a percentage would be like, let's say it's a 10% discount or a 15% discount. And a fixed amount would be like, let's say it's a $20 uh, discount or a $40 discount or whatever currency you might be selling in. So for me, it's going to be percentage. It's going to be a 10% discount on your first order. Then you'll go ahead and set up your sales channels. So if you are selling on other channels, like say Facebook or Instagram, they're going to show up right here and you can check those boxes if that applies to you. That way your discount will also be visible across these other sales channels and not only on your website. So then we'll go ahead and choose the minimum purchase requirements. Now here things get interesting and I'll go a bit into each tactic you might consider. So do you want a customer to spend say at least $20 before allowing the discount? If so, you're going to go here to minimum purchase amount and you're going to type that amount. So you want them to spend $20 at least before they are, before they can get a discount. Or let's say you want them to buy a minimum amount of products before they can get a discount that would go right here on minimum quantity of items. So they have to buy two products before getting a discount or one product. So that would go right there. In my case, I will choose no minimum requirements just because my discount is a first order discount. I don't want to require any minimums. It's meant to just encourage the, the customer to feel welcome in my store and to just make that first purchase feeling rewarded. Now, if you are considering other options here, or you want to know more about discount strategies in general, I'll leave an official article by Shopify in the description. It covers all sorts of discount and pricing tactics you might be considering. And it's just super helpful if you've been looking to understand these things on a deeper level. Next up, you want to choose the customer eligibility. So you'll be choosing who is allowed to s use this kind of discount. Now, if you click on specific customer segments and then hit browse, you'll see a couple of different uh, options here. In my case, I'm going to be choosing customers who haven't purchased since this is a first order kind of discount. But if you are aiming for something different, you might want to choose one of these other options. For example, customers who have purchased more than once. Here, the idea would be to encourage someone who's already made uh, those initial orders to come back to your store and buy more. We're encouraging them to become or to remain a loyal customer or what we call a repeat customer. And this is a really, really important strategy if you've already made some sales because repeat customers are essentially what keep your business running. It keeps your business profiting. They're much cheaper to market too and there's just a higher chance of them buying again than 
than there is of attaining a new customer. So this is super, super important. Then here we also have the abandoned checkouts in the last 30 days. And this means anyone who's been in your store added things to the cart but never completed their order. And this is also really great marketing because if you think about it, these people have already been very close to buying. So if you give them the right extra push, it might just turn into a sale. And finally, we have email subscribers, which is really great if you want to give your subscribers a reward for being loyal to your store and again, encourage them to keep buying. That is always going to be one of the main things in mind to get those loyal customers that are so profitable to your business. All in all, you're definitely going to want to set up different discounts for different customer groups, and that will be depending on the stage that your business is at. So mine is going to be customers who haven't purchased for my first order discount. So go ahead and click add. Now we're getting to the final steps here. Maximum discount uses. So do you want, to dis do you want this discount to be used only once and then not be valid anymore? Or maybe you want it to be used two or three times. So that's the question here. If you want to limit the number of times, you just type that right here. So it can be used three times and then it expires, for example. Or you can limit it to one use per customer. And again, it depends on what exactly you have in mind here. And if you have a look on the side, there's a nice little summary box here. So if you don't check anything in this category, it will automatically be set to no usage limits right here. And in my case, I'm actually going to limit it to one use per customer as I am creating a first order discount only for that customer. And you might want to choose one of these other options, especially if you have something in mind with, a, let's say, a particular time frame. For example, maybe you want to give out special orders for the whole month of March or maybe you want to keep discounts running for seven days. Well, then maybe it's a good idea to give it no usage limits within that time frame and just give it an expiration date instead. We'll get to that setting in a minute. It's just down here on, on active dates if you want to do that. Then next up, we have a combination. So do you want your customers to be able to stack up discounts? Should they be able to use more than one discount in an order? Or are they allowed to use only one code per order? So if you want to stack up discounts and you already have more discounts set up, they're going to appear right here. So you can just check the boxes that you want to combine. In my case, I'm not going to combine anything. I just want them to use this one discount alone one time. So then uh, finally here we get to the active dates. And this is the time frame in which the code will be valid. So in my case, let's say that's going to start on January 31st at 7 p.m. And I don't want an end date, so I'm not going to check this box. But if you want an end date, you can just click that right here and set your information. Okay, so it looks like we've given all the necessary info to set up the discount. Now here on the side, you can look at the summary and make sure everything is correct. And on the bottom, you'll also be able to track the performance right here once the discount is active. So just go ahead and click Save Discount and you're good to go. So that is how you set up discount codes on Shopify. If you want to test it out now, you can easily go to your store. You can add a product to the cart. Go to Checkout. And then you just type your discount code right here. Mine is going to be welcome 10. Hit apply and you should see a reduction in price right there. So that's it everyone. If anything wasn't quite clear, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. And also if you have any other questions regarding Shopify, you can reach out below. I'm here to help you guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It's going to make my day. And if you have subscribed to the channel, welcome aboard. I'm really excited to have you in the community. All right, I'll see you in the next video.